Wendy Williams is a lot of people. Uh, she used to be a disc jockey, and that's it. So it's Friday, and Flashback Friday, too, on BLS 107.5. Hi, everybody. I'm a wife. I am mommy. Good morning, mister. Well, I work at WBLS in New York. I do afternoon drive from 2 to 6. Guess what's going on in the show today? I'm interviewing Mace. I spoke with Mace yesterday, an hour and 20 minutes. Mace, if I can be candid, last time that I talked to you, I don't know if you remember, it was backstage at a big concert out at the Meadowlands, and you and I sat there, and I'm older than you, and you undressed me and licked me like a popsicle with just sitting there and looking, and I was like, look at this little boy. Wow. And that's when you were wearing shiny suits. I believe you were still smoking, if I can be candid, because I'm assuming that you gave all of this up. Yeah, I'm a realist. I believe in that. Yeah. So, Pastor, do, what do people call you at the church? And Mace is happy. And Mace sounds very much like the Mace that we knew. I think the music industry misses you. Not for nothing, but you were the originator of, and, it, and pardon me for saying this, but the retarded flow. Do you understand what I'm saying, Mace? Mace, you understand what I'm saying? Thank you, Dr. Pastor. <laughs> it's not my intention for the show to be controversial. It's not my intention to be perceived as a shock jock. All I'm doing is being me. I feel differently about OJ now. Did he do it? I don't know. I know he loves some white girls, though. He said that on the show, and the sisters were like, hello, Wendy. I said, when was the last time you dated a black woman? He said, two years ago. She was your complexion. And as a matter of fact, she was Cuban. I said, well, that's not black, Negro. Those scathing details about a celebrity's life always make for whoa. Yeah, but you know, hey. And he had an eight-year affair with Jada Pinkett Smith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a fight with Will Smith over it. Yeah, yeah. You know, Suge I, Knight busted in the room and, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, you said that was a great drama. Juicy. Huh? Oh, yeah, but see, that's the business you're in, though. I, I yeah. feel you, though. Yeah. You know, you got to make your business I pop. Like the, the new Wendy still has it in her to get you when you come in for an interview. But like, um, well, I'll give you an example. I had something very juicy about Misa Hilton Brim, Puffy's first baby's mother. Misa was going to come to the show and I was planning a swoop down. That's when you have somebody come to the show for one reason, and then you swoop, ha oh, oh! you know, like a bird, you know, like a crow, you swoop down and pick at what you really wanted to get from the person. She sent me a handwritten note my kids are old enough to listen. I'm involved with the PTA. You know, I'm married. The old Wendy would have swooped down on that. Do you know what I'm saying? I would have gotten her whether she was in the studio or not. But the new Wendy's a little different. I used to get the gossip by going to industry parties when I first got started in New York back in 88. I'd go to the industry parties, I'd be there myself. I'd see stuff going on, I'd write it down on a beer-laden napkin, bring it back to the show and talk. Then it became a little bit more shady. Oh, there's Wendy, let's you know curtail our activity. And then let's make her invitation get lost in the mail to, to the point where, you know what? Now I'm not interested in going to the parties and my network is so large that you just never know who's watching you. Oh my God. Was Eric LaSalle involved? Have you heard Left Eye changed her name to Nina? How crazy is that? Suge told me about it. She signed to death row, her new name is Nina. He told me that t Boz looks like she's aged like 10 years after having that baby. And Chili. <laughs> Do you know what he said about Chili? Yeah. Huh. You miss a day, you miss a lot. Six. And you got you some breast implants. No, I did not. No? You see that? Yeah. Oh, Those you're, are real. You're loose, too. Those are real. I guess a lot of my questions are inappropriate. Did you get liposuction? Yes. Okay. When I was eight years old. Oh, she never got liposuction. You want to know, do people put their f fingers in my face and say, oh, how dare you? No. People are cowards. You know? They might feel that, but they, they never portray that. That's never happened to me. My career is over 10 years long. I guess I've been pissing people off for a long time, too. That does it for another great show. I want to thank Samore for coming in and letting us all know that she has no plastic surgery.
Hey everybody, I'm Wendy Williams, and this is how I'm living. I'm Wendy Williams, welcome to our home. Well, I'm not one to talk, but take a guess. Is this where I look crazy like Mariah Carey? That was a gift, wasn't it? You didn't make us buy that. We bought that? She's part of our exotic game. We'll have to talk about that. You know how cheap I am. How could you buy that? I'm Wendy Williams. Welcome to our home. This is a very average house that um, I took the liberty of decorating and, and making it above average as far as I'm concerned. This is a Swarovski crystal chandelier. A real adult purchase. <laughs> and when we have dinner parties, I like everybody to sit together. It seats comfortably 14 people. I marbleized the columns. Well, okay, I didn't do it, I had it done. Well, I'm not one to talk, but take a guess. Is this where I look crazy like Mariah Carey? All right, let me stop. <laughs> this gift to my son was a gift for Christmas from his godfather, who um, happens to be very financially stable. I would imagine it costs, because you know how tacky I am. I pegged it to be 1200 what do you think? Oh my gosh, this is my husband, everybody. I like a nice big couch, because like the dining room table, where you can sit 14 people, I like everybody to be seated in the same area, and we all laugh and okay. tell jokes and have fun. This is so gaudy, what I'm about to tell you. It's so funny, too. My mother noticed this, who was equally as gaudy as me. She said, Wendy, you can stand in one section of your house and see four chandeliers. One, two, three, four. It's kind of gaudy, but I like it that way. Come on. <laughs> Man, you gotta show them this right here. Okay. Yeah, we drink Chris and all that, but this is oh, yeah. the most love expensive this. bottle of champagne that you basically could get in the, in the world right now. This is Krug. We love this. This is like maybe $500 retail, and, uh, and the cost is maybe $1,500. All the real fly dudes know about Krug. That was a gift, wasn't it? You didn't make us it. buy that. Yeah. We bought that? This is part of our exotic drink. We'll have to talk about that. You know how cheap I am. How could you buy that? You know, do you think this offends the white people when they come look at the house? Is this turning them off? Do you think I should move this? He's sleeping. Look at this. Watch, watch what happens. This room that we're about to go in is the room that actually started out to be a tribute to my career, but I lost interest in the project very quickly. This is our bedroom. Um, walls painted, dark gray, basic bed setup. This couch right here is, oh, Oftentimes, the best place for me to reflect on the day. There's only two things that stand between me and buying for the house. One of them is a new fur coat, and another one is a new designer bag. Bag of choice, always Louis Vuitton. This is our bathroom.
Am I being like Mariah Carey here in the tub? Should I start running this water and doing crazy things so you can call me crazy too? I feel extremely accomplished. I have a feeling it's only gonna get better. But if it all stopped today, I would go a happy, happy woman.